Okay, so my name is Mikhail Pupchak and I'm going to start this. And uh, okay, so for, uh, let's start from the basic information. Uh, the project uh, that we present is uh, Cultural and Natural Heritage of the Biogasia Forest. Is financed by National Science uh, Center and led by Professor Przemysław Ilmańczyk. Uh, everything starts in January 2017. Uh, and this is our area of interest, is Geogeja Forest. Uh, and uh, we start uh, our uh, research on Polish side of the, of the forest. Here is uh, Geogeja National Park. Uh, our area of interest is about uh, 100 uh, square kilometers right now. So about the methods. Uh, of course, first step is uh, LiDAR data. It's, uh, we start from the herbal laser scanning, uh, but uh, we made some geophysics survey and uh, try to supplement this uh, by uh, GIS maps, uh, archival and uh, actual and uh, sources from the Pol uh, uh, Polish archaeological record. Uh, the second step, of course, are uh, coring of selected, fe selected features, uh, surface survey, and limited excavation. And the third step are, uh, of course, analysis of materials uh, we get in the field, for example, botanical, biological, and so on. Um, so everything, this detection, verification, description, analysis, geophysics, drills, excavation, and lab analysis, getting us to make some uh, big database uh, that we uh, connect uh, in uh, GIS software. And uh, this map presents our work through the past two years and uh, how you can see we find and uh, verify in the uh, field almost 1,200 uh, features, uh, the most of it are barrows and uh, mounds, but we have one stronghold, uh, field complexes, uh, settlement trenches, uh, military shelters, a uh, lot of charcoal piles. About the uh, challenges um, and opportunities we have uh, in the Ovesia forest, uh, we have to remember that this is a very dense woodland uh, that uh, preserve anthropogenic structures in uh, the best condition, but uh, we have to remember that uh, it made very difficult prospection. Every detection, LiDAR data is, are not the best co uh, quality. The geophysics is very hard. Field surveys is also hard because of wetlands and dense uh, canopies. And uh, excavation is yeah, always not easy. Uh, it's uh, very good pre preservation is a result of historic protection. Since the uh, 15th century, and uh, we have to remember that uh, we don't always have the opportunity to uh, digging. So, uh, in uh, a lot of uh, places, there is hard to get uh, information about homology without make uh, some uh, excavations. About uh, lidar data, we use it. Uh, this uh, every gray uh, area, it's a uh, place we, where we get uh, data from the ESOC project, it's a government project of scanning of almost whole country of Poland, and average density of uh, point clouds is about four uh, points for square meter, uh, but unfortunately in uh, the Bioversion Forest it's not always enough. So we try to get uh, data from uh, Institute of Forest uh, Research. Uh, they give us uh, data, this, uh, this blue mark here, but unfortunately we don't get uh, from them permission uh, to publish this data, so it's uh, quite a big problem. So uh, we start cooperation with this pro company and get the uh, data with uh, much more uh, with uh, much better quality uh, about uh, 14 points per square meter and a footprint about 13 centimeters it could uh, it give us opportunity to make very good digital terrain and digital surface model it's uh, this uh, 
the uh, green places. So the uh, here and here we have a uh, uh, data uh, we get from the ESOC project, and uh, this uh, is the same um, burial uh, burial uh, sites with uh, from the GISPRO project scan. And how you can see, there is a uh, much better visible of uh, burial mounds, and uh, the, these blanks of old fields are also uh, much better visible here. So our current investigation subject are three. The first is ancient field remains and uh, how uh, to date these features, uh, what was sold there, and how we can investigate those features. Uh, second problem is, of course, barrels and mounds, uh, and we have uh, working on this, uh, how to distinguish barrels and modern mounds, how to different uh, them uh, in case of chronological without digging. And of course, uh, the third problem is settlements, because it's not easy to find it is in how in this dense forest, uh, without, uh, because they are without any anthropogenic relief. <coughs> and uh, this is the example of uh, one of the field uh, complexes uh, in the Ovesha forest. Uh, and uh, we can see it's very, very good visible in the uh, LNS data. And uh, in the field, uh, we basically cannot see anything of that. And I guess it's your turn. So we try to. Uh, investigated in uh, different ways. We found one of uh, barrels located on the top of the bank, and uh, after the excavation, the barrel was dated for medieval period. So we hope that because of superposition, the boundaries uh, might be from early times. And uh, this year, Michael uh, excavated a lot of uh, these features, these these bands or. Uh, field boundaries and we hope that uh, some geochemistry and geomorphological uh, analysis will help to answer these questions uh, mentioned before. Uh, we tried to make some uh, geophysics on these kind of features. Uh, maybe on uh, this part we can uh, find on a better resolution screen uh, these boundaries, but uh, in um, geophysics it's not very, very visible. As you can see, uh, making this uh, survey is quite difficult because of this dense woodland here. Uh, and uh, this is my uh, part of uh, a job in this project, investigating uh, mounds. Yesterday uh, I was uh, speaking only about uh, this mountscape in the Albeja forest because as you can see we had uh, like uh, 1200 features but 1072 are uh, only mouth so 90 percent of all of the features we found uh, of course uh, this uh, distinguished is uh, present because uh, some of the mounts for sure might be uh, from modern times uh, so a tar house or tar kilns uh, are very characteristic in the data and I distinguish them and charcoal piles are only these that got some characteristic building parts or uh, charcoals found on the top of an embankment. And uh, this best preservation of uh, landscape lead us to uh, some unique places like Szczekotowo uh, complex. This site was excavated for uh, nearly 12 years by, by Dariusz Krasnodemski, so we knew quite a lot about it. Uh, on good visualization, we can <laughs> look after the palimpses of this place. We've got field boundaries, we've got settlement traces from field walk, we've got barrows from uh, turn of millennia, but in the neighborhood we've got many barrows from medieval uh, period, also different phases, this one and this one is for sure from different phases, we've got huge unidentified mound, uh, and we've got charcoal piles there, also a tar house, some still unidentified mound, and this really beautiful uh, landscape must be a special place for people in uh, prehistoric times either. 
Uh, and uh, as I said, we try to uh, make excavation, cut it to the limit, uh, to, to the minimum. So in 2018, I tried to uh, understand the medieval uh, clusters because uh, we found some uh, line or semi-line clusters like this. Uh, in 2004, one of them uh, was excavated and dated to medieval period. So we uh, tried to uh, uh, characterize these kind of clusters of line or semi-line with uh, round burrows and deep new burrow ditches uh, and starting to dig we are asking if we found some uh, barn bones characteristic for cremation uh, remains and uh, two burrows uh, were excavated and they are very similar uh, beside that uh, the sites are uh, distance from one to other side is like uh, 40 kilometers. We've got sandy embankment, deep new burrow ditches, as you can see here, and only find 73 barn bones. And that leads us to uh, trying to present how many of these medieval burrows we can speak about. It's about 100 singular burrows, all in these line clusters. Uh, so we've got excavation, only one from here, only one from here, two uh, barrels from here, uh, two barrels from here, and uh, on this uh, kind of map I try to assume if all of them might be uh, from medieval period, only about uh, based on spatial analytics. And uh, the third uh, Part of the study is settlement, and here we still uh, got only classic fieldwork verification. So we choose these dry lands, a uh, little higher uh, grounds in wetlands, then go uh, by footwalk and look after in uh, fallen trees or uh, uh, animal sets, and then make small trenches to find any archaeological features there, sometimes with uh, good, good results. So the conclusion might be that in the Białowieża forest we have unique opportunity to uh, research in this perfectly protected landscape, this uh, so-called primeval forest. And uh, some people say that a lot of these are uh, features is because uh, it was a special place for all millennia and we've got extensive settlement there. I disagree. There are the, this, uh, a lot of features is a result of uh, preservation, not extensive settlement there. And uh, we've got uh, specific problems in dense woodlands. It, this, is, this woodland is uh, harder than normal uh, forest area where uh, forest management work uh, for whole year. Here we've got very dense, uh, dense uh, forest. And uh, this unique heritage, both natural and uh, uh, archaeological, should be protected in every possible way. And I hope that for sure. Thank you.